Welcome back to Investing and Stuff. I'm your host Sebastian and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite stocks on the market and that's CrowdStrike. Let's check it out. Now for those of you that don't know, this is one of the leading cybersecurity companies. It was founded in 2011 by George Kurtz and Dmitry Alperovich. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Basically, George Kurtz was up until that point the chief technology officer at McAfee. You might have heard about McAfee. And I'm going to let him talk for a bit so you can get a sense of what this company is all about. I'm George Kurtz, CEO of CrowdStrike, a leading cybersecurity company. Organizations around the world have told us how frustrated they are with their security solutions, how difficult they are to install and keep updated, and how ineffective they are at stopping attacks. At CrowdStrike, we found a new way forward. We built a security platform powered by artificial intelligence and delivered from the cloud, protecting computers and servers against sophisticated data theft and ransomware. It's fast, easy to manage, and it actually works. We're a high profile team with a very high profile brand. We take our security very seriously. I don't need to be a cybersecurity expert. Having a company like CrowdStrike, knowing that we're protected. CrowdStrike doesn't drop the technology and walk away. CrowdStrike is embedded within your organization. They understand the deployment and they're watching your back. That's what technology is supposed to do for you. CrowdStrike, headquartered in Sunnyvale, California, helping enterprise to small businesses stop breaches globally. As you saw in the promo, CrowdStrike has many high profile clients such as Mercedes, ADP, Goldman Sachs and many more. Now in their investor presentation, they recognize that the total addressable market is expanding year by year. They estimate that by 2023, the total addressable market is going to be upwards of 38 billion. Now cybersecurity is not a new area. Obviously, we've had uh, cybersecurity products for quite a while now. We're all familiar with antivirus software. We're all familiar with firewalls. But the, the main difference here is that while traditional companies employ a lot of on-premise software, CrowdStrike is basically all about the cloud. Also, a uh, really cool thing about CrowdStrike is the fact that they make heavy use of artificial intelligence. And basically what that means is that as time goes on and they learn more and more about different types of threats, their products are just going to become stronger and stronger. Now, since we mentioned their products, basically they have a lot of them. You can see that they integrate well with uh, AWS, with Azure. And as you see from the presentation, most of it is based on their Falcon platform. Oh, by the way, if you guys are getting value out of this, please make sure to click the like button. It really helps me out a lot and also helps support the channel. So thank you so much for doing that. Now, if we take a look at their subscription customers, we can see that this is growing at almost 100% year over year. And it doesn't look like this trend is slowing down too much. As of January, of last year they already had 49 of the fortune 100 companies and they were already working with 11 of the top 20 banks however something that's really interesting about them is the fact that they don't only have one product so they have multiple products and these companies are very likely going to spend more and more on cybersecurity as time goes on because this is becoming a much bigger priority in the future and as we can see in this next slide their cross selling is very very strong 61% of their subscribed customers have at least four modules installed, 44% have at least five modules installed, and 22% have at least six modules from them installed. So that's really, really nice. It means that all of these companies, they're not just using CrowdStrike as a one-off, as a quick software tip. They're actually integrating CrowdStrike into their activity and that's going to be really great for CrowdStrike as time goes on because switching cybersecurity providers is usually something that most of the companies don't want to deal with. Now, one of my favorite investors whom I follow from time to time is uh, Josh Brown from Ritholtz Wealth Management. I'm going to play you guys a quick clip to see what his opinion is about CrowdStrike. You're still sticking with it as one of your top plays for the year. It's one of my top plays for the next decade. I think we have to stop using the term um, work from home when it comes to companies like CrowdStrike. Cybersecurity is like, in my, in my view, one of the biggest priorities for Fortune 500 companies and then small businesses. Everyone is digitizing. Everyone is moving more of their people away from the main office for good. It's, it's not going to go back to the way it used to be. Endpoint security on all these devices is critical and having a network that detects threats and reacts in real time, having mitigation of the sort that is necessary when you see something like what went on with solar winds, guess who they called? They called CrowdStrike, okay? So this is a secular trend masquerading 
as a work from home trend. Throw the work from home thing out. This company is a category killer, eating share, total addressable market is massive. The threat has never been bigger. Russia, China, homegrown, hacking, it's, it's like the way to play it. So I'm all in on CrowdStrike personally. I really think this is going to be a name that works not only in 2021, 20, but throughout the uh, 2020s decade. That was Josh Brown and his take on CrowdStrike. Now, what he mentioned there at some point was the solar winds breach, which was discovered in December of 2020. Now, basically, at the time that this was discovered, it has been going on for more than seven or eight months, I believe, and it has affected multiple companies. And the first company that solar winds actually called to investigate the issue was actually CrowdStrike. So that just shows you the amount of trust that the entire industry has in this company. And quickly after they discovered the hack, they actually deployed CrowdStrike on their services. So that's another positive development for CrowdStrike. Now, if we start looking at the financial data of this company, their annual recurring revenue will soon hit $1 billion. And their recurring revenue year over year growth is over 80%. And also a huge percentage of their revenue is actually from subscribed customers, like we mentioned. So we can see that 90 2% is coming from a subscription revenue and that's really really cool because it shows a really high consistency with regards to their revenue we don't have to guess a lot about how much they're going to make within the next quarters now with regards to the subscription growth we can see that last year it was 99% this year they're expecting 88% so that's not really as high however it's something really normal that when a company does mature their growth usually does slow down a bit however it's still extremely high we're talking almost 100% year over year growth so that's really spectacular okay and with that being said I thought that we should also talk a bit about the risks with this company I'm personally very bullish on the company however it doesn't mean that there are no risks associated so let's take a quick look at some of these now risk number one in my opinion is valuation we already saw that they have that they have a tremendous revenue growth if you take a look their price to sales ratio is over 60 so that's very very high even for a cybersecurity company the forward pe is almost 600 i wouldn't be too worried about it because it's something normal for a software company and especially one that's growing this fast to invest a lot into their growth so the profitability is not a major aspect yet their market cap at the time of me recording this is is almost 50 billion dollars given the many many tailwinds for this industry and also the fact that they are probably the strongest player in this industry i think that there is a decent chance that they will hit about 100 billion market cap within the next two to three years which would basically mean about a doubling of the stock now the second risk that we need to mention is competition although they're currently the leading player in this industry it is an industry that has many many competitors and they're gonna need to be on the top of their game to make sure that they remain in this spot however from what i've seen so far actually there are a lot of companies which they're taking market share from i don't see a lot of evidence that they're losing market share to someone at least at this time so we'll see in the future currently they're doing great and the last risk which I wanted to mention is the possibility that they would also at some point face a breach or some sort of hack. While I don't see this happening anytime soon, this is a possibility with basically any cybersecurity company. And given that this industry relies a lot on reputation, if something like this were to happen, then they would be quite affected. Now, with regards to my opinion about the stock, as I mentioned a few videos ago, I'm building a portfolio which I plan to show on this channel. And in that portfolio, currently CrowdStrike is my biggest hold so that probably tells you something about my conviction in this stock and personally I might even be looking to add to my position if the stock happens to dip below 200 again assuming obviously that nothing changes in the fundamental story or their great revenue growth or anything like that now by the way if you guys want to see more of my holdings from that portfolio and if you want me to talk about some of my positions and why I picked them consider subscribing to this channel because I'll be talking a lot more about them in the future and on that note I actually made a video last week where I described three fintech stocks which you might not have heard about so you can also check that one out probably right here anywho thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye